Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. I am hoping this is live on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I am watching Selma, which some people recommended last year around this time and I was really excited to watch it this year. I obviously know Martin Luther King Jr. and uh, what he did for the civil rights movement, but not the details that I probably should know and want to know. I think we did watch a mini series about him in school and I remember a few you know little things and moments and his murder I can't remember timelines though and things like that and so I always love movies that are based on real stories this feels timely and important and I'm really excited to watch this with you um, I know it's going to be hard to watch because movies that deal with racism and watching it happen are always... I can remember even like as a small child watching Remember the Titans, I loved that movie. We watched it over and over and over. And like talking to my parents about it and like I would say like this can't be real. Like those people then actually treat them like... It, it, it was just so hard for me to comprehend at a young age like what? I don't know. Okay, so without further ado, let's watch Selma. I accept this honor for our lost one whose deaths pave our path and for the 20 million Negro men and women motivated by dignity and a disdain for hopelessness. Kari, this ain't right. This necktie is not right. Well, it's not a necktie, dear. It's an ascot. Okay, Selma is not his mm -hmm. wife. I don't like how this looks. It's distinguished and debonair to me. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Wait till the brothers back home see me like this. It's not a crime to be away for a few days, Martin. I'm gonna be a pastor somewhere small. Lead a little church, teach a class. You look handsome. The Nobel Committee of Oslo, Norway. Oh, wow. We're starting at the end. Peace Prize. I accept this honor for our lost ones whose deaths pave our path. I should have worn a swim cap like Mama said. <laughs> I love her hair. I heard she don't put rollers in it. It's just like that. See, she parts in the middle and then. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What happened? Oh, those sweet little girls. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. What did I just see? Get on up now. I ain't got all day. You work for Mr. Dunn down at the rest home, ain't that right? Yes, sir. Telling one of his gals down here stirring a fuss. I'm just here trying to register the vote. It's all right this time. It's right when I say it's right. Okay, jerk face. You know what a preamble is? We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. How many county judges in Alabama? Uh, why is he... She looks like 67. Oprah. Name them. <gasps> Can we get someone new, please? Will this ever end? I don't know, Mr. President. The act was only passed six months ago. Just, just keep reiterating the plan. He wants something so he can say, look, I told you I had a dream. What he needs to do is get on board with what we're doing. Mr. President, Dr. King. Wait a second. The president- and segregation. Proudest moment of my life. Wasn't he just talking crap on him? Now, seeing as I can't convince you to work with my administration, I feel damn fortunate to have someone a statesman like as you leading the movement. One of these militant Malcolm X types. I want to help. Tell me how. I'm here to speak specifically about the right to vote. Well, uh... We both know in the South, black voters are kept out of the voting booths by systematic intimidation. We want federal legislation granting Negro the right to vote unencumbered. Yes. Eliminating the decades-long dismissal. He's so eloquent. That's fine, but most of the South is still not desegregating. 
And you know what the next battle should be? I'm calling it the war on poverty. It's a matter of political priorities. I want you to help help me with this. This voting thing's just going to have to wait. It, it can't wait. There have been thousands racially motivated murders, including those four girls. Not one of these criminals has been convicted. What? Because they are protected by an all-white electorate. Rare occasion, they face trial. They are freed by all oh, white juries. You, you can't serve on a jury unless you are registered to vote. Yes. It can't so, wait. This administration is going to set this aside. <sighs> Yes, Mr. President, uh, I understand. Selma it is. Selma. The place? This right here is the next great battle. Selma, Alabama. This is it. Selma's the place. A lot of groundwork's already been laid by the people here, and they ready. Good afternoon. Dr. King, may I introduce myself? Yeah. Holy crap. I heard he was assaulted, Selma. King is a political degenerate. Why you say that, Greg? But if he's a degenerate, he's a nonviolent degenerate, and I want him to go on leading the civil rights movement, not one of these bloodthirsty militants. But I need to know right now what's he about to do next. Miss President, oh. you can shut men with power down permanently. Uh, what is he saying? I'm very aware of that. The FBI would kill him? A different approach. We can go with the wife. What the crap? We know there's tension in the home already. Weaken the dynamic. Dismantle the family. Uh, the FBI is going to get involved in his family to weaken him? Holy cow. That's corrupt. Hello. Same thing. We uh, head back to Selma at 5 a.m. a full couple of weeks plan. Quite a bit to be done. Good people in those parts, though. I'm worried about the ones who ain't so good. This local sheriff, Jim Clark, is supposed to be bad business. Won't go down without a fight, they say. And since we don't fight, good a place it dies any, I guess. You can't say that to your wife? I wish you wouldn't talk like that. It just takes the edge off. You and your friends can joke about that. I don't joke about that. I'm sorry. So he's already led the fight, ended segregation, got the Nobel Peace Prize, but a majority of America just doesn't accept it. And so the Southern leaders are enforcing the desegregation then, obviously. Hello? I need to hear the Lord's voice. Surely, Mon. Surely. Gracia, take my hand. Lead me on. I am. It's a very nice thing I've heard to do. Hey! Hey! Sala! Richard Jean is in there. Oh, no, she ready for you. <laughs> oh. Hey, Rear from Jack from Jack Ryan. Ain't you supposed to be on a diet? <laughs> I wanted to tell you that uh, the students are in town. The Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. A young friends is snick. Mm -hmm. You the one. Told them to organize. Don't be surprised if they don't give us grief tomorrow. Town folk may be happy to see us, but Snick, they feel we're in their territory. Young and full of spirit. Not a bad thing. Good night. Snick. Boycotting buses in Montgomery. Segregation in Birmingham. Now, voting in Selma. One struggle ends just to go right to the next. But I don't think of it that way. I think of these efforts as one effort for our life. Our life as a nation. We can do this. Children become victims of one of the most vicious crimes. They are the sainted ones in this quest for freedom. They say to us that we must do this. 
They say to us that it is unacceptable for more than 50% of Selma to be Negro, and yet less than 2% of Negroes here being able to vote. Well, and he explained it perfectly to the president. If you can't vote, use their power to keep us away from the ballot box. Exactly. You don't have a voice in anything going on in your city. No more protest. That means march. We will not wait any longer. Give us the vote. So it's legal. I mean, they have the right to vote, but the people in power, and they're only those people in power because they can't vote anyone else in power, won't actually let them register to vote. Are you truly nonviolent if you're provoking violence? We are here using our very bodies Dr. in Kiss. protest that we will no longer let them use their dark corners and halls of power. So Make them do it in the glaring light of day, Mr. Reed. We've been handling the voter registration in this town now. You haven't gotten very far, have you? We're still here. This time next month, you won't be. Maybe we should just leave some. Leave to these two. Come back in another two years and see how much further you got. Enough of this now. The way our organization works is straightforward. We negotiate, we demonstrate, we resist. Now, we were in Albany for nine months, and we made a lot of mistakes. But their sheriff, he never made a mistake. There was no drama. You mean there was no cameras? Exactly. But what we do is negotiate, demonstrate, resist. And a big part of that is raising white consciousness. The consciousness of whichever white man happens to be sitting in the office. The only way to stop him doing that by being on the front page of the national press every morning, by being on the TV news. Mm -hmm. So we'll put pressure on him. Answer me one question. I've been told the sheriff in this town didn't like Laurie Preacher. He's a big, ignorant bully. You know Selma. You know Sheriff Jim Clark. Is he Laurie Preacher or is he Bull Connor? He's Bull Connor. Bingo! That's okay. good. See, Clark doesn't control the streets. All he controls in summer is the county courthouse. We have clear avenues of approach to a defined battle zone. Good, I presume. I said I'm running. Now they're demonstrating. Pull it right your swing. He looks so familiar to me. In Albany, there were no clearly defined battle zones. Issue of segregation. We can concentrate our actions on one building, a citadel fended by fanatics. Oh boy. A perfect stage. So they almost want it to go poorly because they need the media attention to sway. Y'all deliberately causing an obstruction. Sheriff Clark trying to gain access to the registration. Our legal right. Y'all just gonna have to wait at the rear. Oh, no, Sheriff Clark, we're gonna wait right here. Segregation is now illegal. This sidewalk clear. 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 <gasps> Get out of the way. He can't sit. He's alert. Get out, goddammit. <gasps> I just told you he can't sit. Do you have a problem? <sighs> what do they do in this situation? <laughs> Get that Get here. What? We gotta do something. Uh. Confederacy to remind its people of our. Gosh. Instead of allowing each race to flourish, it's sickening the balance of the. Now. Okay. This isn't like, we didn't start and then go back, right? Like, he's won the Nobel Peace Prize, and they're still saying he's some agitator. Equality in the black side, Kevin. Look at these men, beaten and broken down for generations. Deciding to demand more? What happens when a man stands up, says enough is enough, and stands up only to be struck down? And what happens to the people he led? What are we doing, Ralphie? We take it piece by piece. Like we've been doing. How long do they get to hold them there? Look at the birds of the air that they do not sow, nor reap, nor gather into bar, and yet your heavenly Father doth feed them. And who of you, by being worried, can add a single hour to his life? Matthew 6, verse 27. All right. He's a good friend. But he's right. That one guy in the Oval Office wants to ruin him so they can ruin the movement. He's on his way here, right? So we gotta figure this out right and fast. He yeah. here. What? I wish I had more time to prepare is all. Yes, I understand that. I admire you. Sometimes I wish I were more out there in the trenches. You do more than you know, Mrs. King. I'll tell you what I know to be true. I know that we are descendants of a mighty people. People who survived the hulls of slave ships across the vast, innovate and create. 
and love. We are descendants of a mighty people. They've prepared you. You are already prepared. I come with great respect for your husband. I have no army behind me anymore. I have myself and the truth. That is all I stand on today. You've said disrespectful things in the past, Minister. Your husband and I, we do not see it eye to eye on how to achieve progress for the black man. A lot of work has been done here, and I don't intend to see it undone. I see in a new way. But your local sheriff here, he doesn't know that. So allow me to be the alternative to your husband. Oh. He called us ignorant Negro preachers. Modern-day Uncle Tom said on national television, white man pays me to keep Negroes defenseless. <gasps> it wasn't like that this time. He spoke with some of the words he's used before. It had more to do with helping us. Our movement changes laws. But what has he changed? Actually changed you don't sound like yourself you sound tired and you sound enamored oh <gasps> i didn't mean that i didn't mean that he's got to trust her i'm tired you're right but do we trust the other guy how in christ's sake does malcolm x slip into my state give an actual speech to these is that the office space gonna... milton Election year is coming up, and this black voting business won't abide. If the Lord Jesus and Elvis Presley come visit him, and they said, Jim, we need you to treat them nice. Jim Clark would beat the shit out of the pair of them and throw them in jail. If you want Theo, you need dominance in Selma. Hoover picked up some intel about a night march. Supposed to happen tomorrow night. Go to some bleeding heart fundraiser in California. King's out of town. The fewer cameras, and at night. Oh. My hell. Oh my gosh! What? <gasps> There's women and elders! Oh my gosh! It's so evil! Stop it! Act like you mean, act like you mean your menu, okay? Sorry, mom. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh! 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 Are they freaking kidding me? Gosh! They were marching. They were walking. Someone help! Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so unfair. It makes you scream. Dr. King. To soothe you, Mr. Lee. There were no words, but I can tell you one thing for certain. God was the first to cry. He was the first to cry for your boy. Yes, I believe that. It's Jimmy Lee's mother here, Mr. Lee. She couldn't make it. May I ask your age, son? Well, I, I got 82 years. He said, Pa, she gonna vote for you done. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. She's a good boy. She's always good. <sighs> How could that be legal? How could they do that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who murdered Jimmy Lee Jackson? We know a state trooper. None of the orders of George Wallace, but how many other fingers were on that trigger? Who murdered Jimmy Lee Jackson? Every white politician who feeds on prejudice and hatred. Every white preacher who preaches the Bible and stays silent before his white congregation. Who murdered Jimmy Lee Jackson? Every Negro man and woman who stands by without joining this fight. When I heard President Kennedy had been shot and killed. And when I heard just yesterday that Malcolm X, who stood in this very church just three weeks ago, had been shot and killed, I turned to my wife and said the same thing I often say, one of our leaders is struck down. Our lives 
lives are not fully lived if we're not willing to die for those we love and for what we believe. That Malcolm X guy day, was murdered. We're doing the living and you've done the dying, dear brother. We will not let your sacrifice pass in vain, dear brother. We will not let it go. We will finish what you were after. We will get what you were denied. We're going back to Washington. We're going to demand to see the president, and I'm going to tell him that Jimmy was murdered by an administration, spends millions of dollars to sacrifice life in the name of liberty in Vietnam, yet lacks the moral will to defend the lives of its own people in America. We will not let it go. He does not act. We will act for all of our lost ones. Oh, like Jimmy Lee Jackson. Look at his mom. She's like numb. We know Johnson can't see the full picture. We gotta start with banning these laws that if a Negro tries to register, musters up the courage to go in that courthouse, that their name and address is published in the paper. The poll tax gotta be our right. focus first. Expect to pay for every year they weren't legally registered before they can register. What? Big issue is voting vouchers. But if you're a Negro, is if an approved registered voter voucher for you. Take some place like Lowndes County. What are you supposed to do? Nobody you know. So how do you get the voucher to get you into the courthouse? We must break down this institution. Wow. A march from Selma to Montgomery to protest and amplify. This was always part of the plan, wasn't it? Provoke some tragedy in little old Selma and then go big. No. You march those people into rural Alabama, it's got to be open season. Then maybe you should have listened to him. We need your involvement. You're an activist. I'm a politician. I am sick and tired of you demanding what I can and what I can't do. We have a line on some threats, credible threats with, uh, with detail. I'm from the FBI, I assume. High level? The same high level that's been tracking us like animals. Bugging our homes, digging for things that, that simply are not there. No one can be trusted. If he were my guy, I'd keep him off the front lines. Not gonna happen, Lee. I can't, Mr. President. It cannot wait, sir. Mr. President, how'd it go? What can I do to help? I just, I don't understand. J. Edgar Hoover. No! We do not like J. Edgar Hoover. Um, that wasn't me. That didn't me, Corey. I know. I know what you sound like. I've gotten used to a lot. Wondering after your safety. They're going to destroy him to destroy the mailman. I have gotten used to it. But what I have never gotten used to is the death. The constant closeness of death has become like a thick fog to me. I can't see life sometimes because of the fog of death. How are they gonna kill my children? How many years have I had to listen to this? I can't imagine. If I ask you something, will you answer me with the truth? Yes. Because I am not a fool. Do you love me? Yes, I love you, Coretta. Do you love any of the others? What? No. Is he unfaithful to her? Was that him in the recording? I have to be home right now. I understand. But I have to tell you, the organization looks good. The mood is strong. The locals are prepared. You can join in on the second day. Are there really other women? I believe we will. Look at this. This is the finale when you make the big speech on Wallace's doorstep. Oh, his babies. Oh. As his wife, of course, she believes in this important cause, and her husband is such a huge part of it. But we're going to be strong if we stick together. It's a nonviolent movement. This is Alabama. They keep their ass in Washington, D.C. Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying, as a mom, it would be so frustrating to know that, like, your literal children are targets. And stick them down in the Alabama River and never see them again. What the? Don't make me out to be the bad guy here, I'm John. Not, you're mad because they called him in. We went here first. I get it. I understand that. But if we are really and truly for the people, and the people of Selma chose him, well, then the people have spoken. And if they want to march, then I'm marching with them. Brother, you're marching as John Lewis, not as part of SNCC. They voted? That's so mean. Do they really have that power? We got it. Ready, young blood? All right, we got you. You ready? 
25 minutes. <sighs> Can you imagine how scared you would be? <sighs> Goosebumps. They're literally just walking. And that governor guy is saying they're not allowed to walk. They're not hurting anybody. 15 of them on horses and perhaps oh, 100. My gosh. They can't, they can't do anything. They're walking. They're not allowed to hit them if they're walking. Turn on CBS right now, Andy. Right now. Turn on the television, sir. You have two minutes. Get right there. We're ready. Oh my gosh. This is an unlawful assembly. Go home, go to your church. This march will not continue. They're walking. May I have a word with the major? There's no word to be had. <sighs> The clown, may we speak with you? They can't. This camera's rolling, right? It fires! <laughs> oh. 70 million people are watching this. Swept to the ground, screaming, arms and legs flying. Oh. <gasps> Their feet retreating. The outside of the highway. Oh my gosh, this is so horrifying. <laughs> Oh my gosh! As they crowded together for protection. No, please, no! How could we do this? Can send troops to Vietnam, can't send troops to Selma. My mother. You are the father! It's women and old. We're going back to the bridge. We're gonna finish this. We promise you that, Miss Amelia. Morning, Doctor. You get a statement, please. While rage for violence continues, no citizen of this country can call themselves blameless, for we all bear a responsibility for our fellow men. If you believe all are created equal, come to Selma. Join us. Join our march against injustice. We need you to stand with us. Mostly white. Oh, my gosh. The SCLC is seeking a federal court order and joining the state authorities from interfering with the next march. Cuba Gooding Jr. Dr. King is in position to lead tomorrow's march. You will have your day in court on Thursday. I will not oppose Wallace against protocol. Thousands head south in moral crusade. The SCLC... He should go march with them. You want my advice, Mr. President? Give King the march to Montgomery, and then Selma's over, and you're back in control. In control of what? Another civil war? This ain't about the... Marches. You think he cares about the march? He wants the law changed. Now, you tell Wallace and those backwater hicks, I don't want to see any more of this. And you tell King, you best not march, you hear me? Their King stops and Wallace stops, or I'll stop them both. We give up the march and you, you give what? Might I suggest that you speak with Governor Wallace and urge them against violence instead of trying to persuade us not to have a peaceful protest. They literally just walk. Let them march. Maybe we can make a deal. What if I could assure you that the administration would endorse a later march if tomorrow was called off? He's closer than you may think to coming around on this issue. No, he's not. Thousands have gathered here to demonstrate their dignity. And so I don't want to go against the president. The president could stop this with a stroke of his pen. The decision is with your side, sir. He's right. They're literally peacefully protesting. Oh, and we came, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Yes, ma'am. I'm good. How are you? I've come from Boston. Why have you traveled here, Mr. Reed? Heard about the attack of innocent people. I couldn't just stand by when Dr. King put out that call to clergy. The president doesn't want us to march today, but we must march. We can't do that again, right? I thank you for standing up, but we shall be victorious in our quest. King leads march against Wallace's orders. Clergy present. One third Caucasian participants. Overturn it. Overturn him. Live with themselves. What do they do? Troopers, withdraw! What happened? Did something, the president do something? Or is it just because there's white people in the crowds? What's 
happening? They're not marching to Montgomery? If we don't feel right, we don't do it. Any choice we make has to be Come right. On, that was a moment out there today. And you threw it away. <gasps> you don't get to talk. Are you saying this is a trap? I don't know what it was. Because all them nice white folks was with us. Get capitalized on that. Two days ago, you didn't want to march at all. And now you're mad because it didn't go the way you planned? You gotta tell us something, please. I'd rather people be upset and hate me than be bleeding or dead. That's why, right? He was worried for their safety, not because the president said they, he couldn't march. My dearest Corey, at a time when I need you, I cannot call you. And I have done this to myself, to us. At this late hour, my thoughts are of you and all you have sacrificed. So many have been lost. I pray for discernment and guidance as we journey on. Justify the faith you once had. I, too, feel that heavy fog you spoke of. The fog of death. Clears the haze. Oh, gosh. Love, Martin. Like when you're preaching. And you're just flying. You know, you're not on the notes. You're not on memory. Tapped into what's higher. I think that's what happened to Dr. King up there on the bridge today. Prayed to God and got an answer. And brave enough to follow that answer. I, for one, don't fault him for it. You know what I hate more than What's that? Why? Look, we don't want trouble, okay? I'm here stirring trouble. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. Doc. Someone's been hurt. people from expressing you how can. They... you can stop them you sir can do more oh my gosh you're the one choosing to send people out to slaughter we will continue to demonstrate until you take action our president won't protect our rights we will take this fight to court you think you're juggling martin i'm juggling too i am a preacher from atlanta you are the man who won the presidency and you are the man dismantling your own legacy no one Civil Rights Act, but they will remember Selma when you never even set foot. You're saying, wait, and I can't unless you act. He's right. I wanted to speak privately. I know there's been trouble with your group. LBJ is not moving, John, and I can't risk another march of people getting killed when it was not working. When I was working with Snake, Montgomery bus reached the city limits. We got off in, out of nowhere, all directions. They came. Every makeshift weapon you could think of. I remember this little girl just clawing her nails into the side of my friend. Her daddy beat him with an ax handle. Jesse was unconscious. And I found myself patched up and sitting in a church, barely holding my head up, but I needed to be there. You were gonna be speaking. And I was feeling down, but you got up there. Remember that day at all? I don't think we remember it the same way. What I say, John? You said that we were trying, that we were trying because there could be no other way. You know what else you said? They are not. You come too far to turn back now. <gasps> Feel good about where we are. We have a strong case. You're here. Yes, I'm here. I'm glad. Me too. So are they taking it to court now? In the matter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference versus the state of Alabama, we'll oh, now hear testimony guy. from the plaintiffs. Your Honor, you will hear testimony from the victims who were beaten and bludgeoned for the right to vote and to self-determine. Incidents that occurred cannot be disputed. Mr. King, you went out on that bridge in direct violation of that judge's order. Disobeyed this judge and the governor, did you not? Thousands of people came to Selma. Aroused by Sunday's brutal act, I felt if I had not led the march, pent-up emotions led to an uncontrollable, violent situation. In this case, wrongs are enormous. Therefore, the extent of the right demonstrate in an estimated five-day mark has been approved. These proceedings are concluded. Mr. President, malcontents are disrupting Alabama, and it's your responsibility to stop them. <sighs> so that's your problem, your responsibility, and it's on your watch. They're allowed to vote. We have you a have certain way them. things are done. It's the way it is. It's the way the people want it to stay. George, why are you doing this? Your whole career has been working for the poor. Why are you off on this? Because nah, you can't ever satisfy them. 
George, you seen all those demonstrators? Let's go out there, you and I, and announce that you've decided to let the blacks vote. This whole mess will go away. Now, why don't we do that? Yes, that's a great mm -hmm. idea. Let's let the niggers vote. Ugh. You agree they got the right to vote, don't you? I know that. That's a law. Then why don't you just let them vote? We should be thinking about 1985. You and I will be both dead and gone by then. Do you want people remembering you saying, I can't, or uh, it's too hard? Well, I don't right care what they think. And you shouldn't either. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with him? I'll be damned if I'm going to let history put me in the same place as you. Thank you, Mr. President. I speak tonight for the dignity of man and the destiny of democracy. Long-suffering men and women peacefully protested the denial of their rights as Americans. The issue, equal rights for the American Negro, is that issue. For this issue, many of them brutally assaulted. There is no Negro problem. There is only an American problem. No person shall be kept from voting because of his race. This Wednesday, I will send to Congress a law oh my gosh. to eliminate these illegal barriers. Strike down voting restriction all elections. And we shall do this. We shall overcome. Please consider nixing this speech at the Capitol. Well, if Wallace will see us when we arrive, there'll be no need. Can you arrange that? I can't hide. We can't hide. You understand. I don't want to see this go wrong for you. Don't you want to protect yourself, doctor? Let me try to do that. I know you want to live to see the fruits of all this work. I'm just asking you to allow us to help you do that. I'm no different than anybody else. I want to live long and be happy, but I'll not be focusing on what I want today. I'm focused on what God wants. Just take a little protection. We're here for a reason, through many, many storms. I may not be with them for all the sunny days to come, but as long as there's light ahead for them, it's worth it to me. He is much braver than I. Thank you, John. real footage. to vote while he's still here. Powerful white man. But we know the truth. We know the truth. And we person his family to register and vote at the age of 84. Will not be stopped. Appointed you and his passenger for the Carter after serving three terms of Congress. He was then elected mayor of Atlanta twice. We will march until the viciousness and the served 28 years as U.S. Congressman for the 5th District of Georgia. No man will stop this movement. George Wallace ran for president unsuccessfully four times. He was left paralyzed by an assassination attempt. Lee Jackson. Defeated by overwhelming black vote in the next election. and was never sheriff again, thank heavens. Even begun. Murdered five hours after the speech by local Klansmen as she drove marchers back to Selma. Of this darkness, despite the tears, our freedom will soon be upon us. Successfully lobbied for a national holiday in Dr. Be free soon and very soon. Five months later, I think she also signed the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Because no lie can live forever. 39. Oh. And very soon, the truth is marching on. The truth is marching on. That was I mean I know it happened. Like I know it's just when you see it, it I have said lots of times, like when people are falsely accused, it like gives me so much anxiety. And to watch innocent people be beaten and killed so unjustly, it 
is so infuriating to watch and, and horrific and it wasn't long enough ago. Do you know what I mean? Like when they said we should be talking about 85, like, and that's 20 years later. That wasn't long enough ago. Oh, it's, that's just, it was, I guess I thought like, okay, segregation ended. They had the right to vote. Like, it's good, you know, like in when I thinking back on Martin Luther King Jr. story, that's kind of, th I thought where it not ended, but like that was his big win. But like he said, it's from one battle to the next. The march at Selma was really inspiring. I didn't know the details of that. So it was really special to see. And like those scenes were, I think, I think they were real video scenes from the actual march and his speech at the end and like so many times in that movie I just got covered in goosebumps. I'm really happy I got to watch that with you at this time of year and learn more about this holiday and his beautiful wife who it said that she fought for this so I kind of love that. Um, thank you so much for watching with me and remember to be kind and a friend to everyone. Love you all.